Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Lots to talk about, but first I want to say thanks for everyone that responded to the lady that needs uh, uh, some backup power. Uh, I think she's looking for something more like plug and play, like a power box, but I don't think that can be an option, which we can't find one. Uh, so she might have to uh, do a hands-on project. But thank you for all the comments and the emails. I probably have 150 emails just on uh, advising her and giving her help. There's a lot of people that care out there. Uh, so thank you. I'll try to get to all of them. Um, but lots of great ideas and hopefully she can come up with a solution. Uh, the last two days I've been busy. I'm working around here. You're probably working. You probably feel the general unease of what's going on in the world. Um, yesterday the United States officially accused uh, Russia and Putin uh, of crimes against humanity, atrocities over in Ukraine. I think this is a justification in case we get into a, a more physical spat with them. Uh, I, the president of Russia will be addressing uh, his people in the next couple days. I think all the media over there is going to cover it, so I don't know what he's going to say, but it's just... Uh, uh, they're being pushed back into a corner and they're feeling threatened seeing that we're using our arms uh, We're using our technical advice. We're actually helping with the picking targets um, So we're really really directly involved in the war. Uh, we just don't have boots on the ground But guess what there are boots on the ground. I know for a fact we have uh, Advisors over there. We have CIA guys over there uh, They're they're helping the Ukrainians um, another big thing is, I keep hearing it, uh, Ukrainians are out of uh, ammunition in the sense of the big stuff. Not the little stuff for rifles, the uh, artilleries, the missiles, um, and that's just because we did not have a solid stockpile. And we're giving them our stockpile and it's getting very serious. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, we do not have enough if we were confronted by uh, another peer, which being a peer being uh, China. Uh, Russia um, Also, North Korea has shot. I think they've tested like seven recently 70 uh, I think that's within like a year's period of uh, ballistic missiles and other types of missiles uh, Some of these missiles are capable of probably hitting the United States and they're definitely uh, Able to carry a nuclear payload. So things are crazy. So the last two days. I've been working here. Uh, I I, I'm not in panic mode, that's for sure, but I'm in, I got to get busy mode. And I hope you're in the same thing. I don't want you fearful of what could happen. Uh, it's just now is the time to prepare for what could potentially happen. And do I know, I have no crystal ball. People ask me every day, Dave, when are we going to go to war? Dave, when's the economy going to collect? I have no idea. All I know is I can look at the signs and the signs say that the world is getting more instability, more instability. Uh, which then creates, you know, we could have a conflict. Um, and a conflict right now with Russia, uh, we don't know what China would do. China and Russia, North Korea, Iran, uh, it would be a World War III. I've had some people say, Dave, oh, we're never going to go to World War III. Uh, those people just like that said, we're never going to have World War I or we're going to have World War II. Um, we definitely could. So I hope you're preparing. Um, I get so many questions right now. It sort of goes in waves. It goes in cycles. Uh, when the news is saying a lot of things about Russia and, and threats of nuclear war, or they are issuing threats against us. Um, it creates a lot of questions for me, which is good. Um, more, one of the recent questions I had were the people were going to take some PVC pipe and they were going to take plastic and make like a, uh, basically they were make a greenhouse in their house thinking the plastic was going to save them from radiation and from the fallout and protect them. Uh, that is not so. So I explained to them, they were going to actually probably make a coffin. It would be just an airtight coffin and they would probably perish, um, maybe from the lack of oxygen because they were going to seal it up. Uh, to keep the dust out and keep everything out. But that doesn't save you. I get a lot of crazy questions. I've put out many videos on the subject, so please go back if you're worried um, and, and look at my videos. Look at anybody's videos. Just get some knowledge. Uh, JD and myself has finally finished a little book. Um, and basically, it is a down and dirty. Um, there's lots of books out there that are thick. You know what they are. They're thick books, and you start reading them, and you'll fall asleep after you get through a page and a half. Uh, this is... A one hour crash course so if something happens today you could grab this book and review it really quickly uh, and give you a fighting chance or 
you could give this book to a neighbor. You might not have time to explain to a neighbor. There might be uh, information on the news, and you're like, hey, I don't got time to come over there and explain everything, but here, read this book. I got to go finish my preparations. Um, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to finish my preparations. And it's just not for my family. I'm looking at my infrastructure, trying to see, hey, could I shelter additional people um, and give them somewhere safe to go from fallout? Um, I'm not at ground zero of a target, so I'm in a good spot. Um, so that's my goal right now is how many people could I shelter in place? Um, afterwards, I might have to feed them. You know what? I'm willing to feed people uh, to keep them alive because uh, people matter. Uh, people are, are really a resource uh, that you will want in a grid down crisis. Um, we don't know if it'll go that far into a nuclear exchange with the with the Russia, with China. We don't know that things are just getting worse so this book is 99 cents on kindle that's the cheapest they'll let us put a kindle book 99 cents if you have i think kindle unlimited you could read it absolutely free um it is also in paperback for 7.99 um so it does support the channel it lets me keep trying to get uh the news out to get information out to help people prepare i think the biggest thing that i help people with is the ability to take phone calls and i take phone call after phone call every day i live on my phone uh, a lot of times I'm working around here, actually working with the phone in my ear, trying to talk to people, uh, answer their prepping questions, ask, answer their survival questions. And a lot of people are new preppers. New preppers are, are waking up. People are waking up every day. Um, and it's, it's awesome to get someone started. You know, they have no clue even what to go, get. And I totally recommend food and water and shelter. Um, Eventually on that list, it goes down to nuclear protection. And it might not be you can afford to build a shelter, but there's improvised ways you could do it. Or just understanding the principles uh, if we do have a nuclear exchange. So I'm glad it's done. Um, 99 cents on Kindle. It does help support the channel. And it will give you information in a crash course, an hour. Read it, and you'll have a fighting chance uh, to at least know what you can do. And hopefully you can help your neighbors. Thanks for watching.